What's up, guys? This is the Vinyl Casket. My name is Nick. This is the home to the lamest taste. That's our coming up is green. What is green? <laughs> um, I, I guess not. Whatever, we'll do it. We'll do green. <laughs> uh, home of the lamest taste. You can check out my channel on YouTube at The Vinyl Casket, all one word. We can subscribe, like, and comment for much, much more. Uh, we do trailer reactions. We do weekly comic book reviews. And we do TV and movie reviews. Uh, this is the episode review for episode two of She-Hulk, Attorney at Law. A little late on this one, but don't worry. Episode 3, we're coming up right after this one. We have a premiere date of August 25th, 2022. Uh, this episode was titled Superhuman Law, and it was a runtime of 28 minutes. Um, this episode was really cool because after the end of the first episode, which I really, really liked, um, Titania breaks through the courtroom um and jennifer has to turn it into she hulk in order to stop it because she couldn't let <coughs> all the people in that courtroom including the jury be harmed in any way shape or form if she had a way to stop it so she does so now the whole world now knows because of the court footage and everything that she is she hulk um this ramifications leads to people naming her she hulk her not naming herself that going all over viral everywhere and her boss letting her go because she thinks it's a comp they he, he and the company now believe it's the conflicts conflict of interest to have her be a da uh which is outrageous in my opinion um after her laying out a whole case that won the case but because it got dismissed because they think the jury would have been bias because she saved their life it's kind of messed up uh what she was she supposed to let them die and he he even says that the company does not believe that but whatever not the company but the da's office doesn't believe that that she did the right thing but now she's being punished because she did the right thing that is wrong in my opinion as a she hulk fan that's wrong it's messed up but i like it because it makes you feel like oh that's wrong she's getting screwed over and you get to see the whole process of her bouncing around trying to find jobs you know getting turned down for the same reason you know being regular then you know being provoked to be hulk and all sorts of stuff going to a family dinner you know very weird family dynamic and i think it's funny because we never hear or see or anything about hulk's family dynamic but apparently he has a big family um we get that whole element wrapped in there we get so much character development in this episode where I thought we got a lot of Hulk development and story progression and plot movement in form development in the last episode. The second episode was really cool because we get to see her emotionally dealing with this, dealing with the world now knowing her not wanting to be a superhero. And she's offered a job by the company that she was about to beat in that, in that first case. They are opening up a superhuman law division and they want her to be in it which makes sense. We give her this big office and everything. Let her pick whoever her, her paralegal is. And then boom, what's the catch? She has to defend the abomination on his, um, Oh, what's it called? What's it called? Um, on his parole, his parole hearing, which is crazy, crazy, crazy episode, right? nuts um and the case really takes place in episode three um along with a sub case which is really cool i like how we're getting a lot of law references and cases and courtroom stuff happening in these episodes um i really oh that's a bird really close to my window uh, i really enjoyed this episode obviously the cgi is a little wonky but i like it i like the the editing, the lighting, the transitions, all that stuff, all the technical stuff is pretty solid. And I'm loving the acting here. 
awesome. I love that it progressed into this, and I'm really happy to talk about episode three. So stay tuned for that, guys. That was episode two, Superhuman Law of She-Hulk. Pretty sure I captured everything that I, that that resonated with me. Um, really cool episode, really cool show. Uh, we do these out of five for the individual episodes. We're going to do this was a... I'm going to go four. I'm going to go four out of five. Solid. Uh, remember, this is the Vinyl Cascade where you and me are part of the home to the lamest taste. <laughs> you guys can check out my YouTube channel at The Vinyl Casket, all one word, over at YouTube, where you can subscribe, like, and comment for much, much more. Hit the bell, and remember to do me a massive favor and stay lame!